Hi y'all, Darla here. And this is my video for the Halloween popcorn with candy corn. It's good and it's simple, easy. Well, the first part of my video got corrupted, so I'm having to redo this and I'm at my house. Um, the next video, it'll switch to my daughter's house and um, that's right when I'm, I've melted the chocolate and I'm pouring it over the popcorn, which I've popped the two bags of popcorn, put it in a big bowl, and then I just poured the can one bag of candy corn over the popcorn. So it's pretty simple. So, uh, and I was, I'm wearing a purple scarf here because I was borrowing her Halloween scarf. So I'm not as cute in, in this one. It doesn't match as much. So continue on and then it'll say, I'm back. Okay. Okay, I'm back and I've melted the uh, chocolate in 30 sec second increments. And uh, don't do too much or it'll burn the chocolate. And uh, I forgot to tell you, these are two ounce bags of popcorn and I'll have the recipe on my site too. And uh, these were two four ounce bars of chocolate. Okay, so get your popcorn in your bowl and look, I thought I had a whole bunch of sparkles. I guess I used them last year, so I got this out. I have a little bit of purple. So we'll just have to use that. That's the way it goes. Okay. And drizzle. It'll all stir in because we're going to stir this. Just as long as it's melty. In fact, let's stir a little bit because this is all on the candy corn. Just stir, 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 stir. This is so good. Everybody comments how good it is. Now we can put some of our sprinkles in. The dots is what looks really cute. I guess I used most of these last year. The purple of the glitter. We have a lot of black glitter. Okay. Do some more chocolate. Get it on the areas that you haven't got it on. This chocolate is what holds it together. Then, after we stir this, I'm going to lay out wax paper. And it has to dry and harden on the wax paper at least 30, 30 minutes or so. And then I'll show you what uh, my daughter and I would put them in last year. I just went to the Dollar Tree. Duke, my dog, my daughter's dog is trying to get me to feed him, which I've already fed him. He's a chihuahua and he's fat. Okay, so keep stirring. Oh, the thing, I went to the Dollar Tree Got this for a dollar. Walmart has these too. And then I just made a Frankenstein face on it, head. And then we put it in there. And it keeps it fresh. And, uh, and the popcorn not from getting stale. So you just stir it. Make sure your bowl is big enough. This is actually the bowl, you know, that you uh, put your candy in. Give out your candy in on Halloween night. So that works pretty good. Oh, man. I think I'll use all my sprinkles. Looks like I'm going to have to buy some more of this stuff. Oh, here we go. The dots is what looks cute. And you just keep stirring. Then you get your wax paper. Is there any more chocolate? No more chocolate. You get out your wax paper. Pouring your popcorn into your big bowl, 
Just pour and shake the seeds down on the bottom. Pour, shake your seeds down on the bottom so that the seeds don't get in here. Because then you have to pick them out if you accidentally get some in there. So, okay, see what it turned out? See how cute it is? And, I mean, everybody rants and raves. My hands are clean. And you can just put it, look how cute, in a bowl for your party. Or, like I said, you can put it in this container and uh, seal it, and it will stay for, I think, up to a week or so. So, okay, so with, uh, with this recipe, you got to get your popcorn, your candy corn, get your sprinkles, get your chocolate, and get the flock out of here. We'll see you next time. Bye.